Yes, uh, good afternoon YouTube. I am getting ready to cut this sheet of 5 16 inch double wall polycarbonate. I guess they use it for greenhouse walls. Yeah, here's the multi-wall polycarbonate sheets. Palram.com And what I'm going to be doing is cutting that with my Craftsman cordless trim saw. And one thing you'll notice I'll just flip the blade on here. It's going backwards. And that's what I've found works best for cutting this plastic. This is a plywood blade. And it's actually not for this tool. That's why the actually the label sticks out, but it's ideally it should be flipped around backwards, but it's a five and a half inch saw. And I find that the plywood blade works pretty good if you run it backwards and it cuts the plastic without shattering it. I'll show you what it looks like once I get done. Yeah, there you can see it makes a nice clean cut. Uh, what I find is if you have the blade facing the right way, uh, the edge is really jagged. But this, this comes out quite smooth and it, it cuts pretty well. And you can see the double wall there. There's, uh, I think these are 5 16 which is 8 millimeter double wall panel. And I'm going to be making a solar hot air collector out of this. Is take your compressed air and if you kind of pinch your finger and thumb on both sides of the air, because you want to get the air to blow through those little holes, Get all that stuff out because the next step is you use this cloth tape that uh, goes over the ends to kind of keep them sealed up so you don't get bugs and, and things in there. This stuff is breathable, so this is going to be an inside the window solar collector. So I'll show you what it looks like after I finish. Yes, hello YouTube. I uh, just wanted to give you a little peek at what I'm planning here. So I've got that uh, polycarbonate panel mounted up in the window and I've got some uh, neoprene uh, weather stripping on the back side to seal up around the window and then I've got these dividers in the middle and the idea is I'll have an air inlet way up in the corner I'll have the air come in, so I'll cut a little opening there, then the air will flow down, up, down, up, down, and it'll be pulled out by this 12-volt uh, PC fan down on the bottom, and that fan will be run by an old uh, battery tender solar panel. It still puts out power, I think it's a 5-watt panel, what I will have Behind this, I've got an aluminum grill. Uh, it's a perforated metal sheet that I'll be cutting to fit, painting it black, and then I'll put some more weather stripping behind the metal panel. And like I say, the panel's perforated, so that'll allow the air to circulate around the panel, so the panel will heat up in the sunlight. The uh, Sun will also power the uh, fan, and then the reason I have the uh, dividers this way is this panel will also serve to insulate the glass at night because uh, you know the hot air or the warm air can rise up, but then it won't, it can't fall back down, you know, so that essentially all the air will get trapped behind here. Uh, and it can't circulate through, so hopefully that'll uh, both pull heat in during the day and then keep it in at night. So this is a southwest facing window, but so we'll, we'll update you as I make a little more progress. I'm going to get some more materials and uh, we'll touch base then. As always, thanks for watching.